Ever wondered why some people seem to have a knack for winning friends and influencing people? Their secret might lie in a book written by Dale Carnegie in 1936. Carnegie outlines three fundamental techniques for handling people. First, avoid criticism and instead seek understanding and solutions. Second, express genuine appreciation, fostering positivity and good relationships. Third, understand and address the needs and desires of others, the key to positive influence. Mastering these principles is the first step towards effective communication and relationship building. Now let's delve into the six ways Carnegie suggests to make people like you. First, show genuine interest in others. Listen actively and engage in meaningful conversations. Second, never underestimate the power of a smile. Third, remember names. It's a sign of respect. Fourth, be a good listener. Truly value what others have to say. Fifth, tailor your communication to align with others' interests. Lastly, sincerely recognize and appreciate others. In essence, being likable is about respecting, valuing, and connecting with others. But how do you win people to your way of thinking without manipulating or controlling them? It's about using 12 principles that emphasize understanding, not arguing. Respect their opinions. Never bluntly say, you're wrong. If you make a mistake, own it quickly. Start conversations amicably. Encourage agreement early on to build momentum. And let them talk. People love expressing themselves. By practicing these principles, you're not just winning an argument. You're fostering understanding and building relationships. Indeed, influencing others positively is about understanding, respect and collaboration. Finally, let's explore Carnegie's guidance on being an effective leader. He emphasizes six key principles. Start with praise and honest appreciation. Call attention to mistakes indirectly preserving dignity. Discuss your own errors before pointing out those of others, making you relatable. Ask questions rather than giving orders to promote engagement. Allow others to save face, keeping feedback constructive and private. Lastly, praise every improvement, big or small. As Carnegie suggests, leadership is not about authority, but about fostering a positive and collaborative environment.